Oh, George, sorry about that, George. Um, I was just thinking about something there, George, for a minute. Come on in anyway, and you're here for the next lesson on uh, constructions, aren't you? Lesson four. Well, sit down, I'll have a look at this. Oh, George, I'm so sorry. Um, let's make a step. Oh, that's heavy. Now, George, are you all right this morning then? Good. Well, George, it's always nice to see you, and um, I'll explain the lesson uh, that we're going to do today. What I'd like you to do though, George, just have a look at the question. It's actually on the board, so just have a look at it and have a think about what you're going to do. We're going to try and draw that triangle on the board, and we're going to do it very accurately. So we're going to take a ruler, and the first thing we're going to do is measure the longest side that you can see on the triangle. And I think, let me just have a look, George, that's 10 centimetres. We're going to draw that line on the paper first. So here we go, 10 centimetres, any way you like on the paper, George, to, to, sort of to one, one side, 10 centimetres. There we go, nice sharp pencil, George, you remember that, don't you? So there it is, 10 centimetre line to start with. Now in order to do the next one, I'm going to choose the next biggest side, which is the 7 centimetres, and I'm going to open the compasses to that measurement, so 7 centimetres, here we go, nice and accurate, George, you're getting good at this now. And that is seven centimetres there, George. And we're going to go to one side of the line, like we usually do, put the point on that side, and we're going to draw our circle going round there. Now, George, there's a change to what we do now, because in all the others, the compasses have never changed. Do you remember that from the first three lessons? Good. This time they do, so we're going to look at the next side, which is six centimetres, and we're going to change them to that measurement. So six centimetres, as accurately as we can. Now, it takes a minute, doesn't it? Six centimetres, and we're going to go to the other side of the line, George, turn the paper around, and we're going to put the point at that end, and we're going to do our circle of six centimetres, going around there. And we're almost done. All we've got to do now, George, is uh, join the two ends of the line to the place where the two circles intersect as accurately as we can. So here goes, with our nice sharp pencil, George, we're going to join the end of the line to where the circles meet there, turn the paper around, and join the same again, the other side of the line, to where the circles join. And when we've done that, George, we've got a triangle that is exactly like the one on the board but it is more accurate, the measurements are exactly right. And the last thing, George, when you finish your uh, triangle, just write down the measurements on the sides that you've done. So the first side was 10 centimetres, and the second side at this side was 7 centimetres, and the third side was 6 centimetres. And George, if you can match the accuracy of what I've just shown you, that would be really real. Oh, shut up.